Now it's time for some headlines. All right, hey guys, there's a bunch of stuff going on this week, but the, the biggest thing is the 2018 governor's race is on. Gretchen Whitmer has filed to run for governor for the Democrats. Does that mean that she's going to be drawing out more candidates very soon? Yeah, again, I'm going to repeat my... my uh, oh, is, is, this, is this the election schedule according to Stephen? To, it's, to, it's, it's so I too agree. early at this point that it's almost laughable. We're, we just got done with uh, the presidential election. She's talking about a midterm election that's two years away. Come on, give yeah, us a break. And candidates do this <clears throat> oftentimes to keep other people out of the race or suck up yeah, all the money. She ability. doesn't have that capability. I, you know, for two years, we're going to be talking about this this race? Yeah, um, I have it actually I'm on the My Week rundown every week, <laughs> every now, week now for the next two years. Here it is, the governor's race. And, you know, she, she jumped in and with this message of, I'm going to stop Michigan's slide. Well, you know, Michigan really hasn't been sliding over the last five years. The slide occurred when she was in the Senate and Democrats were in control of the governor's office. I, I don't know that she's honed a message. Well, I think there's a message well, I about, a, I think that's an a message interesting about the message erosion there. and the quality of life in Michigan okay, as opposed so, to the quality well, that's what, of business that's what my question, Michigan, That was right? my question. The quality so, of our schools are Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. The quality of life stop, stop talking. plummeted during stop her Stop talking. <laughs> the three of us are talking at once, so hang on. My question what is, we so when you about? say, that's because you weren't listening to me. So I, I feel like I'm back on Christmas vacation Come with my three kids. Is this, is this what it's turned into? Come Hang on. on. So when you say stop the slide, would it be more advantageous for her to talk about that in terms of I think she's got to put infrastructure? Yes. I mean, coming back around right. to Flint. The things that the governor has not done. And some of those things are things that he said he wanted to do. If you go back to 2009 and 2010 when he was running, he talked about, you know, the, the, the need to sort of hunker down and get the finances under control and then reinvest uh, in the state. Think about the cuts to education that have taken place over the last uh, 10 years. They've mirrored what happened for the last 12 years. Uh, think of the, the, the lack of investment in infrastructure. Think of the Flint water crisis uh, and, and what that shows about the way that we govern the state. There are a lot of things that are not going wonderfully. This is becoming a backwater in a lot of ways for a lot of people. So stop the slide is too vague for you. Is I think I think she's got to be more specific. But who cares? Uh, who cares in January of 2017 how Look, specific she is? She's got a record. Uh, I mean, she's not a fresh face coming in here with fresh ideas. She was in office. And, and in leadership during Michigan's sharp decline of the last decade. I don't know that she has a platform really to stand on. I think there are other Democratic candidates who, are, who will prove much more really? dynamic, much more attractive. And I mean, who, would be, who would be at the top of that list? I think right now, if I had to pick a front runner in that race, and you don't know at this point who all is going to get in, oh. but I would think Kildee has a lot better um, position in this race and a I fresher so. message. I, uh, I still think you need a, you need, I think you, if you're the Democrats, if you think about the, the number of people, statewide races they've won in the last, I don't know, 18 years, there's only like four candidates, yeah. uh, Levin, Stabenow, Peters, uh, and Granholm. It's all, um, except for Granholm, it's all been federal races. Right. So I, I think you got to start looking at who who are the people who are able to do that and what did they do. Uh, maybe somebody like Gary Peters ought to be a gubernatorial candidate think, in 2018. I don't think you could pull him out of that office well, with a team not, of mules. But, um, <laughs> hey, okay, so let's uh, hey, let's go ahead and take a look at Macomb County. Um, it was not very uh, a merry Christmas holiday Eve. for some people in Fraser. <laughs> and terrible. Candace Miller has a lot more work on her hands in terms of being a public works commissioner in um, Macomb County than maybe she even thought she had. I don't think she thought it was going to be easy. I mean, that that's an area that had been... Um, really neglected for a long time and abused for a long time. I think the whole water quality issue and the dumping of sewage in Lake St. Clair is one of the things she knew she was going to have to address. But, I mean, the, the biggest issue to me in this whole sewer thing is the people, their insurance is not going to pay um, 
pay damages here. They fell into their house, fell into to a sinkhole, and you're not covered because you didn't have a sinkhole rider. Well, who knows about who <laughs> knows there was such a thing? Well, see, but that's the whole thing. I think now the awareness is people are like, wait a minute, I should check my home you insurance, go and, and it, it, it causes policy. the larger conversation of infrastructure yes. in the state as well. And if that could happen in, in Fraser, it's like, well, what's happening in Wayne County? What's right. happening in Oakland County? All what's the happening state. under my house? Four billion dollars. The billion. governor's report said we need four billion dollars a year More. to fix our our infrastructure and look what happened in, in 2015 when he tried to raise the gas tax by a significant amount to fix just the roads and you know people went nuts yeah. you know he got a quarter of what he wanted yeah I mean I, you, you can't get that conversation started because we've you know I think quite cynically there's a culture that that, that says uh, to people you can have something for nothing right we can cut your taxes incessantly uh, and and everything will be just fine. Everything will work out. Your schools your schools will be good. The roads will be fine. What we're finding out is that in fact that's not true. Uh, you have to pay for these things, and yeah. you need more money. Are you going to pay for it? No, you pay money for doesn't you invent itself. You have to reset spending priorities. Well, you could do that. You find four billion dollars in the budget. You're not going to find. On that. You're not going to either find it. You're not going <laughs> to start on that. By the time that, they do their budget that's presentation, that's the cost and neglect. Yeah. All right. Hey, uh, thirty seconds left. How about those lions, right? <laughs> I'm I'm off the lions. <laughs> oh, please. I, I, I'm Hope excited that they're going to the, table. They're two or three years away from, from really being, I think, I think quite competitive, and that's good. But I'm, I'm, sure. just, not, I'm just not all where that will, into Where will Stafford be in two or three years? He'll be on the Well, downward. that's true. He'll be and older. Wow. They don't have a, a quarterback in the pipeline to take over. This is great. Well, know, <laughs> I think this is, this is probably their high point. And you know you can't get that's excited not, about a team you know, okay. guys, that <laughs> failed their way. I think into the I'm going to say I think you should resolve to be grumpier in 2017. <laughs> I think that would be great. So why don't you start working on that? You could just start this week, for I'm, example. I'm rooting for the Tigers and the yeah, go Lions. All right, well that's going to do it. That's going to do it for my week this week. Thanks so much for joining us. Hey, coming up next week on the show, we're going to be examining the role of the media and how journalists are perceived, the impact of print and television, and in-depth reporting in an age of cutbacks. We're going to have a full panel for you. Guests from Wayne State, Crane's Detroit Business, and the Center for Michigan. We hope you join us. Until then, check us out at myweek.org. I'm Christy McDonald. We'll see you next time.